Hello guys! This time I'd like to talk about the importance of low-level API and how does it affect the performance level of both CPU and GPU. The thing is, newer DX12 and Vulkan APIs are very effective when it comes to load distribution between cores and threads. All DX11 and OpenGL APIs usually use 4 or less CPU cores and rarely utilize hyperthreading or SMT. On the other hand, majority of game engines based on the X12 and Vulkan can use more than 4 cores and also can take advantage of additional threads. Thus, they make a game run much better on old and feeble CPUs like my Intel Xeon X3470. This is a 4-core 8-thread CPU. Thanks to its hyperthreading, it still can provide decent frame rates in modern games. And it is possible due to the fact that many recent games run on newer, more advanced APIs. So, if you, like me, have an old and feeble CPU, you should use DX12 and Vulkan whenever possible. From my experience, these new APIs always provide better CPU performance. Let me show you the difference in CPU level of performance between well-optimized DX11 and well-optimized DX12 implementation. This is Shadow of the Tomb Raider game, built-in benchmark. As you can see, DX12 provides much higher average and minimum frame rates. With DX12 enabled, the minimum frame rate is 49 FPS, while DX11 provides only 32 FPS. Firstly, this happens because TX11 is not able to take advantage of hyperthreading. This manifests as 25% decrease in minimal frame rate, the most important quality which defines gaming experience. Additional 10% decrease in minimal frame rate happens due to the inefficient utilization of four existing threads. As you can see, with TX11, the game engine mostly relies on one or two CPU cores while other two cores are not utilized properly. They can only be loaded by 50-60%, while DX12 loads all the four cores and eight threads to at least 80%. This means that TX11 cannot properly distribute load between all the CPU cores and threads. So, despite the fact that X3470 has enough power to provide decent frame rate in this game, DX11 simply cannot let it unleash all the existing potential. Now, let's talk about GPU. To test its performance regardless of CPU capabilities, I will increase resolution up to 1440p. This will let me show you is there any difference between DX11 and DX12 in this game in terms of GPU load. I am using NVIDIA GTX 1660. This card belongs to the new Turing GPU line. As the developers claim, Turing architecture can take advantage of DX12 and Vulkan APIs. Well, surprisingly, GTX 1660 performs better when DX12 is disabled. The difference in performance is far less substantial than in case of CPU, just around 5-7% in average frame rate, while minimal frame rate is a bit better when DX12 is enabled, according to the final benchmark data. So, what does it mean? Well, if you have a multi-core CPU equipped with hyperthreading or SMT technology, use DX12. It will help you gain significant performance improvement. If you have a recent GPU, you'd better use newer API as well. Some older GPUs may perform significantly better with DX11 API. So, unless you have a modern powerful CPU and old, outdated GPU, which is unlikely, you'd better use new API. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know what API do you use. But for now, good luck and till next time.